What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Bob, aka Bob Can Cut, and I'm back with another dope tutorial for y'all today. Today I'm be doing a um 3D design and fade on one side. So let's go ahead and get into this. Let's, right here we're just combing it. This hair lifting it off the scalp and getting ready to cut it down. I'll be cutting it down to a one. Y'all can see that cowlick right there in the front. Got to make sure you avoid that. So you want to leave that for last. So right here we got our one guard on our um, wall seam. We're just cutting it down. We ain't going to really worry about the bottom because we're going to be fading that out. Just going to speed this up right here. And y'all can watch me avoid this uh, cowlick, how I go back against the grain, how the cowlick grow. Right in the middle of his forehead. And I also sped up the fade, but we just gonna go through it. Cause we wanna focus on this design. Right here, I just got my clipper closed, just sitting in my guideline. I'm gonna go through these steps with y'all on the fade. Just balding them out a little bit with the clipper. Okay, right here, we got our clipper open, sitting in our first guideline about an inch. And remember how to take this panel away. You can start either closed or you can go halfway. Either way, and work your way open or you can work your way closed to remove this panel. Right here, I started closed. And I'm just gonna open it up little by little as I go up and watch that line fade away. So boom, that panel faded out. So we're gonna move on to the next. Grab your one guard, start with it open. Go set your another panel in about an inch. After you finish with that one guard open, you're gonna close that one guard. You're gonna soften that one open um, guideline up just a little bit. So you can come back with your half guard. Be easier to take that line away. My one guard closed. See, he falling asleep. Here go my half guard, start with it all the way open. Don't go above that one open guideline with it though. Go right, you can go right up to where you uh, set it in with it, but don't go above it. Then you go halfway, then close, blend that panel out. Instead of moving on to my um, one and a half guard, I went ahead and did some detail work with my clipper open. After I got finished with this half guard, With my clipper open just doing some detail work so I won't have to come back to this side when I get focused on the design I had a lot of people um ask me to do a design tutorial so here y'all go right here I throw my one and a half on start with it halfway then I go close just to blend into the top now it's not going all the way blend into it, so you got to go back to your one guard. This right here just soften it up so you won't have to do much with your one guard. Now I put my one guard back on just using my corner. We're going to make this blend into the top.
after you go through all your steps then you can come back and do your detail work go with the grain to lay that hair back down you got a massive cowlick in the front Throw my one and a half back on, doing some detail work. What I like to do, I like to play it safe. If I had to go higher, I'm gonna put that bigger guard back on and work it as much as I can. So I won't have to do much with the smaller guard. That makes sense. Just make it easier and play it safer on the fade. Then I go back to my one guard. Just using that corner, hitting little dark spots. Make sure you're using that mirror. That mirror gonna show you all the dark spots you need to hit to get that fade to blend smoothly. Okay, now we're gonna move into the design. Right here, I got my hose spray prepping the hairline for the lineup. And I also add a little bit to where I'm gonna be doing the design at just so I can get them lines nice and sharp. Then you blow dry it. We're just going to be doing a, zip, a simple zigzag design, but we're going to trace it and make it look almost like 3D. It's real simple once you get the hang of it. And, and it's all about placement. You don't want to start your design too low. To where you can't get that fade in so i like to start mine like almost in between the vertical bar and the um the temple point but what you want to do is just start using your corner and you just letting the clipper glide just getting your design set in first your line set in first it don't have to be perfect you almost like making a v upside down bees you want to make sure you give yourself enough space to where you can come back and widen them lines up when you're doing them so you want to space your V out just a little bit so you can come back and widen them lines up you see how I'm just using the corner just to get them that first line set in you don't have to worry about getting it perfect because you can come back and do that at the end Let's go back and wind it up. See how I just got it set in? It's not perfect at all. Then I'm just coming back and tracing that same line. But it get kind of tricky when you get to the zigzag part. I'm gonna show you what you gotta do. When you get up under the zigzag, what you wanna do is just make a little line going across at the bottom, just a little straight line. Right here, just tap it with your corner, make a little straight line right up under it. Then come at another angle, go down just a little bit, and come right up under that with another little straight line. What you want to do is you're trying to make keep the lines the same width, so I, I measure it as like almost a half an inch, a half an inch apart from each other. Keep that, try to keep that same width apart when you're doing this type of design. See, I'm just taking it slow, just using my corners, just etching the line in. I'm not trying to get it perfect, I'm just setting it up so I can come back and clean it up at the end. And that's the design right there. gonna come back and clean it up make it look real nice so now we go back in and start tapping this line with your corners just getting it real sharp lose a little bit of focus right here but you'll be able to see it I'm just going back tapping the lines widening them up and getting them nice and sharp just using my corner 
You got to make sure you tapping both sides of the line. I hit that top line, now I'm hitting that bottom line, just widening it up, cleaning it up. Like you like you would be doing a line up. Just take your time and get them lines nice and sharp. He was looking for his daddy <laughs> to come in or something. Turn the trimmer upside down. Sorry about this autofocus, but it's gonna come back in. But you can still see I'm just cleaning up the line, just tapping it with my corner. It's getting it nice and sharp. on the bottom line do the same thing you don't have to get it too sharp because after you finish with this you're gonna come back with your razor and that razor gonna get them nice and, and um, clean I'm just using my corner just tapping the line What you really could do is you could um, just clean up the top line and you can use your razor to clean up the bottom line. Now all we gotta do is fade this bottom half in. That's what y'all gonna see me do right here. I'm gonna let y'all watch. Just start my ball guideline. have to use go up to the clipper open right under the design and fade the little back piece in just like the other side using the same steps just balding them out with the trimmer now after this then we're gonna get into this line up go with my clipper open Start with it closed, just work my way up. Watch it fade away. Y'all see how that just faded in? Just using my clipper open up under the design. Just sort of give it a little pop. the design with the one guard open just to get it nice and even and I go with my one guard open then I hit it with it closed go with my half guard open halfway then I close it go with my one and a half halfway then I close it Come back with my one guard, just do some clean up. I just want to clean this design up at the end.
Now I come back and clean it up with my razor. Y'all can watch and um, see how clean the razor get it. Just want to make sure you stretch that skin and just use the tip of the razor. See how I'm using the th my thumb my off, on my off hand to stretch the skin. Just using the heel and the pump and the um, tip. Get them lines. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this um, design and this um, tutorial in the comment section. Please like, share, subscribe. Y'all can help my channel grow and I appreciate y'all for watching. After this we're going to um, get into this lineup and I'm going to let y'all see this before and after. Be checking it out. We already put the hole spray so we just go back, go back and line it up. Start in the middle and we're gonna work our way to the left. If they got a cow leg, what I like to do, I like to just start right there where the hair starting the cow leg. And then just bring it straight across to each side. Don't ever dig into that cow leg. And as y'all can see, he got a real big one right there in the middle. Line this vertical bar up. I ain't gonna add no enhancements or nothing to this cut. I want y'all to try this design out. If y'all new to um want to learn to do designs let me know how it go hit them vertical balls with the razor I'm gonna let y'all see this before, and I'm gonna let y'all see this after. Do a little bit of fine detailing. Gotta make sure you detail. Here goes the before. Here goes the after. Let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section. Like I said, please like, share, subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, on IG at Bob Can Cut. And I got more do dope tutorials coming to y'all in the future. Appreciate y'all for watching.